Yeah, Groupon's have been a lot of work for us in the last year, and it's been a fascinating story. I think there's a lot of excitement about the potential for Groupon, who doesn't want to try to save money, or like the idea of saving money. But no investor has saved money by buying shares of Groupon. Look what's happened to the shares. Unless you shorted it. Unless you were short. And I know some people have been short, too. They've done all right in this name. I don't know how many have covered yet, because the, the bad news keeps coming. Look at the stock chart, what's happened over the course of the last, let's say, 10 months since the IPO. What we've seen from the company is uh, just a cons consistent and steady decline ever since the IPO. And, you know, and I mentioned this last night, but I thought the, among the things we saw last night was the drop in billings. So the, the billings is the total number of essentially the take, the revenues that they get from the, the customers uh, spent before they've even given the money back to the merchants. It includes their group on goods business, which has been kind of an issue for this company. And uh, one of the reasons that billings is, uh, may be down, some of the analysts suspect, is the marketing cost down. Now, when we, before the IPO, when we first saw the numbers, we looked at the money they spent on marketing with just some truly incredible numbers, $230 million. So they dropped that number right before the IPO, and it's continued to fall, it is true. But uh, you know, if, uh, one way to look at this is how much they spend every single day, including the weekends, on marketing, and the dollar amount spent per day on marketing. Groupon's still spending a million dollars every day on marketing. So, you know, a company that's barely making money is spending all that money on marketing. And uh, that's, I think, continues to be a big story for Groupon. So how effective is then the money that they are spending? Well, one of the things, we showed this briefly last night, but the dollar amount for the cost of every new customer acquired is going through the roof. It's been rising, so even if they spend less, their efficacy is getting worse. So that's hurting them as well. And then what we've seen is, is the, the difficulty that that has meant for them in terms of adding customers. Uh, their group on goods business becomes kind of more important. A lot of conversation about the group on goods business on last night's call. Right, and we were talking to Ken Senna of Evercore last night who said that Groupon Goods seems to be disguising some of the weaknesses in the Daily Deal's core business. You also mentioned that Groupon Goods has different accounting rules than the rest of the business, which right. seems well, so, to be a trend. So last quarter they wouldn't say how much Groupon Goods was their business. To their credit, after they were asked about it and it was criticized for not mentioning it, they did in fact come out and give us, you know, you saw those percentages briefly. It was 11% of sales last quarter, a significant but part of the sales. didn't they have to break it out because it became such a big Once part of Once it's over 5%, the right. rule of thumb is they have to disclose those things. Uh, good memory. This is a very impressive image. Uh, I've studied up. But accounting <laughs> issues continue to be a problem for these guys and, and they, it just keeps coming up for them.